Why you should never Google yourself. Some of us might have done it once or twice, but for Anora Petrova, one simple search led to horrifying consequences. Anora had always wanted to be an ice skater. She was young, talented, successful, and had a famous trainer. The night before her first big championship win, she felt more anxious than usual. For fun, she googled herself and came across a Wikipedia page saying that she would win. When she did win, Anora thought this must be a coincidence. But every time after that, the page would predict whether she won or lost. She checked it every single time, almost addicted to refreshing that site. When she was about to compete in another huge competition, she decided to manipulate the website by changing the outcome it predicted. But instead, it said, Anora Petrova is going to get what she deserves. Right after, she was accused of sabotaging another girl's skates, which ended up slicing her in the forehead. Even though Anora denied it, she was banned from the competition and was dropped by her trainer. She thought this must be the worst of it until she checked the website the next day and saw a terrifying message about her. Follow for part two of the story. This is why you should never Google yourself. Anor Petrova became obsessed with constantly refreshing a website that predicted whether or not she would win her ice skating competitions. But things took an extreme turn when she decided to manipulate the website's predictions by editing it herself. This caused her to be banned from the competition and be dropped by her trainer. But things got so much worse when she refreshed the page again and saw a terrifying message about her. This time, it said she would be an orphan. She immediately called her parents, but she only heard maniacal laughter over the phone. After her parents died of a terrible accident, the police said that there were no records of her calls to her parents at all. She became reclusive after that and moved to another country, where she tried to reinvent herself. Eventually, she stopped checking the website and things went back to normal, until she wanted to audition for the ice circus. She checked the website again to see whether or not she would make it, but it only said one thing. It said, at midnight, Anora Petrova died friendless and alone. The next day, her body was found next to her computer. Things are never as they seem. Once there was a man who didn't want to get married because he didn't want to spend money on anyone else. He thought that if he got married, he would have to pay for his wife's food, clothes, and other items, which he didn't want to do. However, one day he came across a beautiful young woman who oddly never ate a single thing. He thought this was perfect. He wouldn't have to pay for her food and she could be his wife. He quickly asked her to marry him. But of course, things are not as they seem. He noticed that his supply of food was disappearing even though he never saw his wife eat. So one day he decided to spy on her. And what he saw was terrifying. He saw his wife's hair part in the back, revealing a huge mouth on the back of her head. Her skull split open and the mouth was unnaturally wide with huge teeth. Then he watched as his wife's hair twisted into a long strand, grasped handfuls of food and shoved it into the mouth on the back of her head. When she noticed her husband, she attacked him. He managed to get away and hide in the mountains. Weeks later, when he got the courage to return, he found his wife gone and all of his food taken. The man never married again. Whoever see a red car, don't do what he did. Once there was a man in Mexico who took a night shift at work. After work, as he was walking home, he saw a bright red car. The red car pulled up in front of him and three women were inside. They asked if he needed a ride home and because he thought they were beautiful and harmless young women, he agreed. The next morning, his wife realized he never came back home. She called his work and they didn't know where he was either, so she called the police. The police then went to his workplace, which is where he was last seen, and began searching. A few miles away, they found his body. It was lying on the side of the road with strange symbols carved all over. The three women in the red car turned out to be witches who traveled the road looking for men, usually those who wander the streets late at night. When they found these men, they would entice them to get into their car with them, promise him they could fulfill all of his dreams, then begin their dark occult ritual where he would be sacrificed to the devil. But the most disturbing part of the story is that the bright red car that these witches were driving were painted from the blood of all of their victims. Can you imagine being locked inside your house for your whole life? Caroline's aunt and uncle said she was so ugly that she had to be hidden from the world. If anyone saw her, she'd be taken to the church and burned at the stake. But things are not as they seem. One day, Caroline started asking questions. She wanted to know why the other kids could play outside, but she could only sit and look out from her bedroom window. This made her aunt and uncle very angry. They said, can't you see yourself? Don't you understand the sacrifices we've had to make to keep you hidden from the world? She had been convinced that staying trapped was for her own good, but one day she decided to escape. She used a safety pin to unlock the door and left. However, soon after she made it out, two men wearing uniforms started shouting at her. She began running. When she turned a corner, she saw a group of people who pointed at her and screamed, monster. Eventually, a priest came and said, take her to the church. They dragged Caroline to the church, put her on an altar, and set her on fire. As the fire grew, the priest turned to the crowd and said, look at this monster. Look at her hands, only five fingers. Look at her face, only two eyes, and her teeth a sickening white.
Has anyone ever tried to talk to you in a public bathroom? Once a young girl went into a public bathroom and heard from the stall next to hers, shall we put on the red vest? She got scared, ran off, and called the police. Two officers arrived. One went in and heard the same voice asking, shall we put on the red vest? The officer outside heard her reply, okay, put it on. Suddenly, a loud scream, then a thump. The second officer opened the door to check on his partner, then found her head rolling on the ground and blood all the way down her back, making it look like she was wearing a red vest. In Japanese urban legend, the Akamanto is a ghost who haunts bathrooms, specifically female bathrooms. He wears a red cape and hides his face with a white mask. If he chooses you, he will ask you if you want to wear a red vest or a blue vest. If you say red, he will chop your head off. If you say blue, he will grab you by the neck until your face turns blue and you suffocate. If you try to ask for a third color, the floor will open up and a pair of pale hands will reach up and drag you to hell. Ever play this game with your friends? Once there was a group of girls who heard about the game Baby Blue. They didn't believe in it but thought they could scare their friend Laura. So they sent Laura into a bathroom by herself. She turned off the lights, closed the door, and put her arms out as if to hold a baby. Then started chanting Baby Blue, Baby Blue 13 times. What happened next cannot be explained. Laura felt a heavy weight in her arms. Then she felt the weight in her arms scratching her. She was terrified and didn't know what to do. She wanted to drop it, but she was afraid of what might happen if she did. So she froze, and the weight grew heavier and heavier. Suddenly, she saw a woman in the bathroom mirror with a twisted look on her face. She screamed in terror. When her friends heard her scream, they tried to open the door, but it was locked. When they finally opened the door, they found Laura on the floor. Her eyes had been scratched out. They tried to move her body, but they couldn't, because something large and invisible was pinning her to the ground. This is why you should always look over your shoulder. A woman who recently lost her husband to a car accident was trying to move on. She had a hard time accepting her husband's untimely death, so it was really, really difficult for her. She did what she usually did every morning and got ready without him. She got out of bed, dressed herself, and went straight to work. Once she arrived, some of her coworkers were telling her about this meet and greet for single women. She originally said no, but with some good convincing, she finally agreed. She drove home and got ready and picked out a dress and was really, really upset because her husband bought her the dress she was going to wear. However, she continued to put the dress on because she knew deep down that he would want her to be happy. She goes to the meet and greet and meets a kind guy named Paul. The two hit it off and he invited her back to his place. Once she got inside, he said that he needed to finish up a little bit of work before the two could hang out. She said okay and sat on the couch next to him. He put his laptop in his lap and began typing. She laid on his shoulder and said, you know what, you really remind me of my husband the way you scratched my head. He looked at her and said, what do you mean? I'm not scratching your head. This is why you should always check your back seat. A woman coming home from work decided to drive home. As she's driving, she notices a black car following behind her. And every red light she stops at, this black car will constantly flicker his lights. She began to panic and drove faster and faster, taking every turn she could to get away from this car. As she's driving, she calls her dad and tells her that this car is following her and to meet her in the driveway so she's not alone. She pulled into the driveway and sees her dad waiting outside. Then she sees the car that's been following her pull in right behind her. The man in the black car behind her gets out of his vehicle and runs to her and says, get out of your car now. She gets out and the man behind her says, there is somebody trying to kill you. The man in the black car behind her pulls out a weapon. He shows the woman that there has been a man in her back seat and every time he would flash his lights, it was because the man was about to stab her. Do you know someone who idolizes a famous person a little bit too much? For Sophie, her obsession with her favorite celebrity led to something truly terrifying. Sophie loved everything about her favorite celebrity, who for now we'll just call Mindy. She especially loved Mindy's looks. She would buy the same clothes, get the same hairstyle, and buy the same jewelry. She did everything to look exactly like her. So one day, Sophie saw from Mindy's Instagram that she was about to go to this restaurant. So Sophie showed up at that restaurant first and waited until Mindy came. She had wanted to get plastic surgery for a while, and she thought, what better than to get a real life reference photo for my doctor. Soon Mindy came and sat down and ordered. Sophie tried to compose herself, but when Sophie saw that Mindy got up to go to the bathroom, she followed. Then she pretended to be someone that Mindy met at an event and probably forgot about, so she wouldn't seem like just another fan. Then she leaned in and asked to take a photo together. The next day she walked into her doctor's office with the reference in hand and said, here's exactly what I want to look like, and demanded the face be sewn into hers.
Someone asked to put makeup on you, don't do what she did. One night a girl in Japan was walking home at night when she came across an elderly woman. It seemed like the woman was walking around aimlessly. She was wearing an oversized hat and had a cane. While she had wrinkles on her face, she also wore quite a bit of makeup. The young girl didn't think much of it until the old woman came up to her and asked if she wanted to try some of her makeup powder. She said that she loved using it and it would make the young girl so much more beautiful. She didn't want to be rude, so she agreed. What could be the harm? But she could have never imagined the horrifying consequences this could possibly lead to. The moment the white powder was applied to her face, she felt a deep burning sensation. Then she felt the flesh on her face fall off. The old woman was the face powder hag, a creature from Japanese urban legend who tricks young girls into putting on her makeup. When the young girl's faces begin to rot and fall off until there's nothing left but a skull, she will steal their flesh for herself. What she does with it is still a mystery. This is why you should never play hide and seek. A mom decided to play hide and seek with her two kids. The mom began counting, ready or not, here I come. She begins searching the downstairs kitchen because she knows that they hide there every single time. As she's walking to the kitchen, she starts saying, hmm, I wonder where they are. She looks under the table and sees they aren't there, which is kind of odd. She knew they were too scared to go into the basement alone, but she decided to check anyway. They weren't there either. She began to panic. The mom then says, Jordan, Casey, come out now. Mommy's not playing anymore. There was no answer. Panic really begins to set in. She decides to call 911 and reaches an operator. She tells the operator what's wrong and the operator sends an officer to her house. Once the officer arrives, he says, don't worry, we will find them. As she's sitting in the living room, she hears giggling and laughing and hears a closet door slam upstairs. She sprints upstairs and says, Jordan, Casey, you worried me sick. She opened the closet door and nobody was there. While all of this is going on, she hears the doorbell ring. She runs downstairs and finds the officer holding Jordan and Casey. The officer says, they were hiding in the shed out back. Then Jordan looks at mommy and says, why were you telling us to stay in the show? If you've ever thought about getting your ears pierced, don't do what she did. This is the urban legend about a girl in Japan who tried to do it then ended up with horrifying consequences. So this young girl really wanted to get her ears pierced. After some pleading with her parents, they finally agreed and gave her some money to go do it. But instead, the girl kept the money and decided to pierce them herself and let her friend help her. They heated up a large needle and went for it one day. It was painful, but in the end, she was happy she could finally wear earrings. However, this wouldn't last long. One day in school, she felt an intense pain in her left ear. Her earlobe was itchy and by the end of the day, she had a head she went into the bathroom and saw her ear was very inflamed. Then she looked closer and saw a piece of white string sticking out of her new piercing. She picked and pulled at it, which only made the string longer. Now it was hanging out of her earlobe. The string seemed to be endless. The more she pulled, the longer it got. Finally fed up, she took a pair of scissors and cut the string. Suddenly, everything went black. There was a burning pain in her ears and her eyes. She began to scream. In the hospital, it was revealed that it wasn't a piece of string at all. She had pulled out a piece of her optic nerve and cut it. She would be blind for the rest of her life.